Monterey County is on pace to reach the red tier for the first time since California implemented its blueprint for a safer economy. Action News 8 reporter Caitlin Conrad joins us live from Monterey, where restaurants are desperate for the upgrade. Aaron, we have seen our neighbors, counties across the state, climb out of the purple, and we have been stuck here since August. We are finally seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, and we are on a downward trend with our cases. If it continues at this pace, we could enter the red tier sometime in March. Getting to the red would mean the Monterey Bay Aquarium could open their doors again and gyms could let people back inside. It would also mean restaurants could allow indoor dining. Yeah, we're very excited. We're thinking that in the next few weeks that we're going to move into the next tier, which will allow restaurants to be at 25%. So how close are we? Let's take a look at the numbers. On Friday, the county ended the week with a case rate of 17 per 100,000 residents, down from the state's tier assignment rate of 24 that came down on Tuesday. Now let's look at the trend. You can see we started the year out with a case rate of 80 per 100,000 residents, but the line goes straight down from there. And the public health officer said at this time he does not predict a reversal of this trend. The potential to get into the red for the first time since summer has businesses excited. It's huge. It's, it's going to be big for everybody. Uh, if you think about all the restaurants that have been so limited with outdoor dining and a lot of it's based on the frontage of your business. All of the businesses have a different outdoor dining capacity depending on how much space they have. But just in talking to Chris Shake over at Fisherman's Grotto, he says that having the outdoor and the indoor, even if the indoor is just 25%, brings him up to 50% capacity, which is the best that he's seen since summer. And it means bringing a whole lot more people back to work, not just here at Fisherman's Wharf, but across this entire hospitality community. Reporting live in Monterey, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW Action News 8.